Well, it's time for the Reed Ferguson Show, brought to you by Musso Plumbing and Heating. Reed, thanks for being on the show this week. Absolutely. Thanks again for having me on. I appreciate it. You know, we're all looking forward to the home opener this weekend, but how do you forget the games previous? How do you put those behind you? Do you have a song? Uh, Do you hang out with friends, talk to family? Like, what's your go-to to to get away from all that? Uh, Yeah, great question. I think uh, the easiest thing would be just getting back out on the practice field. Um, I was talking to our assistant special teams coach yesterday. He, uh, Coach Corey Hartke, he played in the league for the Rams for five or six years. Um, And he said sometimes the best way to kind of move on from the previous game uh, is just to get back out on the practice field and look forward to the week ahead. So, you know, in in some ways, I think it was a little bit of a blessing that it's a short week. You know, we had our off day Tuesday, and we were right back out on the practice field for Raiders week on Wednesday. So, uh, short memory, uh, 24-hour rule, but uh, we're, we're definitely, as you mentioned, looking forward to to Sunday in the home opener. So it's going to be great. Reed Ferguson is our guest again this morning. What hypes you or motivates you to play on game day? Do you have a go-to playlist? Do you have a routine in the morning? Um, I, I do have a little bit of a playlist. Um, not a huge pregame music guy. Just kind of listen to whatever is playing in the locker room. But uh, I think, you know, not to get too sentimental, but, I, I, you know, previous years, you know, before I was married, you know, I was playing for, you know, my family, myself, you know, whatever. But now, you know, I'm married. I've got uh, two kids now. So, uh, you know, do, you know, going out there and performing uh, and, and doing my best for them and making them proud is, is kind of what motivates me now. Reed Ferguson is joining us, getting ready for the home opener at Highmark Stadium this weekend. After the games, is it dinner right there at the field house with the with the other players? Are you are you looking forward to going home and do you grill at home after the game? <laughs> uh, I I don't normally grill. I'm usually pretty exhausted after the game. Uh, just you know, long day. But uh, you know, I, I I sometimes I grab something from the uh, from the facility. They usually got a little grab and go dinner for us on the way out. Uh, sometimes we eat at home. Sometimes we'll uh, grab food from somewhere and and bring it back to the house. But really, uh, just looking forward to you know after the game, spending time with family, catching up. Um, you know if we've got family in town or anything, and uh, and uh, just spending time with family at, at the house. Who makes the call on what you're going to grill? Do you have a discussion with your wife, or is it just I'm doing the grilling, I do the choosing? Uh, yeah, I try to go local uh, as much as I can. There's a few good uh, butcher shops around. Uh, OP Buffalo, you know, kind of wherever I'm at. But um, I just kind of, I kind of, you know, obviously talk it over with the wife, whatever she wants. The other night, I, I she uh, didn't want a steak, so I cooked a steak. She wanted some pork chops, so uh, went out and got some, uh, a little bit of both, uh, so I could please everybody. But um, yeah, it's kind of, you know, whatever. Whatever we're both feeling uh, for dinner that night. Reed Ferguson is our guest. Before we ask you about a great charity that you're dealing with this week, uh, let's talk about the big game this weekend. What are you looking forward to the most about being back at Highmark Stadium? Uh, definitely looking forward to um, you know the, the great fans here. Uh, you know, uh, I, I was talking with somebody the other day about my time at LSU and uh, how it kind of relates to my time here in Buffalo and the obvious the obvious crossover is the fan base you know it's it's both both fan bases are some of the most passionate in the game um the the, you know the tailgating obviously you know i I love seeing that on my drive in in the mornings um yeah just just being back with these fans that that cares so much about us on the field off the field you name it so uh you know really really getting back and and getting a chance to perform uh in front of the people that love watching us the most and um yeah, that, that's, uh, that's what I'm looking forward to. Reed Ferguson is our guest, one of the most generous and charitable guys you'll ever meet. Uh, who would you like to uh, give a shout-out to today? Uh, I'm going to give a shout-out to the Punt Foundation. Uh, Gwen and her crew over there have done just a fantastic job over the years um, since I've known them, since I've been here in Buffalo. And, uh, and they, they just do such a great job raising money and uh, sending funds out and helping out families uh, that have been uh, affected by childhood pediatric cancer. So uh, the Punt Foundation uh, is my charity for the week. Yeah, and it's it's a great way to uh, help out the kids here in the Western New York area and families too. You can go to puntpediatriccancer.org for more on that. Reed Ferguson, thanks for your time. Good luck against the Raiders this weekend. Thank you, Clay. I appreciate it. 
And the Reed Ferguson Show brought to you again this week by Musso Plumbing and Heating, your 24-7 lifeline. From daily drains to midnight mishaps, Musso's got you covered. Go Buffalo, go Musso.